the reason why the Marvels, Madam Web, and a lot of these uh, superhero movies failed is because of us. Did you know that? Mm. Yeah, I think they're right. Yeah, the reason I, why they failed is because, yeah. Who would have saw that coming? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so if, if any movie fails, if any movie flops, it's because of us. It's just, just letting mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's because of it's our fault. This comes from us from the direct. Disney exec blames the Marvel's flop on bigoted audience members. Oh man, what what a sh what a shocker! Oh oh no! Oh no. oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do now? Oh, hey, I did right. I did say Marvels was better than Madame Web, so that's something. That's an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> a Disney executive, I'm assuming that's Bob Iger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, reportedly blames sexist audience members for the recent box office failures of films like the marvels the lowest earning mc movie of all time man so you're saying thor dark world made more money <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. saying eternals made more money oh yeah that that's, that in that's bad that, i hope that that actor who went on a therapy finds solace in this. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Basically, uh, uh what's his Kunal Nanjani? He's like, okay. So after hearing about the uh, the flop of the Marvels, I can feel a little bit better about myself now. It's because our movie wasn't that shitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, earning just two hundred and six million worldwide. Damn. It's poor performance wasn't on disney's 2023 bingo card heading into a promising theatrical year ultimately disney was outgrossed by universal pictures at last year's global box office the disappointments like indiana jones and the dial of destiny haunted mansion and wish outweighed successes like guardians of the galaxy 3 heading into 2024 the theatrical outlook is trending down following the writers and actors strike. Disney is pointing fingers instead of taking accountability for recent critical audience misfires. Exec calls out bigoted fans. Oh, that they're, they're talking to us. Mm. They're talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Matt Belloni, Belloni, an entertainment reporter for Puck recently published a newsletter with statement from an unnamed Disney executive. Belani explained that his message from the Disney exec responded to a recent article he published which covered whether the politicization of the Disney brand impacts the box. This definitely sounds like Bob Iger. <laughs> <laughs> this was met with a relatively harsh response from the executive targeting uh, politicized audience members who equate the perceived mes uh, messaging in a film as quality issue. Everyone says it's the movies, it's the movies, stupid, uh, which is an easy thing for people to say. More appealing movies are a great way to jump to political issues, but more and more our audience or the segment of the audience that has been politicized equate to perceived messaging in a film as e a quality issue. 100% is a quality issue. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, back the early seasons one to four of Game of Thrones, right? It's full of politics, but again, that's not, it's politics within a good quality writing, not terrible writing because of politics. That's the thing that they're, these people are interchanging. Like, yes, it's, it's a, a big universal IP will have politics in their, in their story for sure. But it's because of the good story that makes the politics good. Not, not inserting politics in the writing. That's what they're interchanging here. That's what that's what's, mm -hmm. what's, what's been going on with Western entertainment. That's why all most of them suck now. They yeah. need to distinguish the difference. In terms of recent quality, Disney Animation's Wish starring Ariana DeBose recently, sorry, received a historically low 48% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. The message also highlighted 
other female-led films like The Marvels and Star Wars starring Daisy Ridley while noting that they believe audience members won't say they find female empowerment distasteful. However, they will say that they don't like those movies because they are bad. Because they are. Uh, we don't care about woman empowerment. You can have strong women in movies. Okay. Gray, I can name you one director that every single movie that he has made, the main character is female. Mm. Hayao Miyazaki. Every character that he's made that is in any of his animated movies has been female. Totoro, right? My Neighbor Totoro, May and uh, Satsuki, female characters. Spirit Away, Chihiro, female character. Princess Mononoke, female character. Uh, fucking um, The Boy and a Heron, female character. Howl's Moving Castle, female character. Uh, Dicks in the Sand, female character. All of them are female characters, but they were all written really, really well. They're all really good movies. Now, especially Dicks in the Sand. The thing is, they're just fucking bl victim blaming. It's like, oh, actually, um, our movie is actually really good. Is you, you guys are the problem. Yeah, Ponyo, female movie. Exactly. Kiki's Delivery Service. Exactly. All of them are all female-led. No one's complaining about them. No one. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a fucking excuse, man. It's like, geez. Yeah. Like, like fucking just like, like this writer says, take accountability. Mm -hmm. Your movie sucked. Move on. Yeah. And Jeez. like, oh how, how will you improve if you always have that mindset? You will always going to be where you are now. It's like your the quality of your movies will always stay the same. It's like, it's going to, it's only a matter of time when actual legitimate business people come in. It's like, yeah, this doesn't make financially financial sense. We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be funding these projects. So that just scrap it. It's only a matter of time. Right now, it's full of delusional, probably 80-year-old BlackRock hedge fund managers who have nothing to do in life or just funding these crap. But eventually, so an actual finance manager is going to look at the numbers and say, yeah, uh, let's scrap these projects. It's not giving us a good return. So, yeah. yeah. So sooner or later, you got to learn. Yeah, to be clear, chat, Dicks in the Sand is not a movie, right? Do not Google that. <laughs> <laughs> I just make that up, all right? Don't, do not Google that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, quote, they won't say that they find female empowerment distasteful or marvels like Star Wars, but they won't They won't say that like that those movies are because they are bad. Yeah. Ridley's uh, latest Star Wars film, The Rise of Skywalker, is regarded by many as one of the worst in the franchises. No, it's not. It's one of the worst, but it's not the worst. The worst one is The Last Jedi. And the thing is, that I think everyone liked Daisy Ridley in the first movie. Yeah, like at least yeah. Mo at least most people did. Yeah, right. Let's see. Um, while the Marvels isn't as uh, uh, maligned, it earned the worst cinema score of any Marvel Studios. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good, man. Uh, the anonymous exec ended the message by stating that the audience asking for Disney to make movies better actually means make movies that conform to regressive gender stereotypes or put men in front of the center of the narrative. Oh my fucking God. Uh. These, this exec is why Disney is failing. Yeah. Yeah. He's just one of many, many other people in Disney. Like it, the, the the Disney staff is mostly composed of these people now. Jeez, part of Iger's quote unquote pivot is to is focusing on sequels in theaters like the newly announced Moana two and the slowing down Marvel's output uh, to emphasize equality. Uh, so emphasize quality. Reactions have spread across the internet based on recent newsletters and controversial message from Disney. In general, it's unclear and upsetting to many fans of Disney why the viewers are being blamed for recent studio stumbles at the box office. It's no secret that Disney has produced more inclusive content, sometimes called woke by politicians and others, but putting all the blame on those viewing the movies seems misguided. Um, 
The thing is, Marvel, the Marvels is not necessarily woke. It's just fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And same thing with a lot of stuff. It's like a lot of stuff is like, well, this movie is not woke, but it's just it's yeah, just Ma- not good. Yeah, Ma- Madame Web is not oh, it's not woke, it's just bad. Madame Web is also just terrible. Yeah. You see, sure, there are like uh, likely those out there who scoff at the idea of a female-led superhero team up like the Marvels. However, treating this politicized issue or simply believing most audience members are bigots is an unfair generalization. Whoever is writing this is like, it's like you're, you're pretty fair with your takes. Like the MCU hasn't been the same since COVID-19 pandemic. Following the slews of delays, fans have been bombarded with series on Disney Plus and films on the big screen. Keeping up with everything in the MCU has never become more difficult. Absolutely. There's so many shit, man. Then when projects like The Eternals, Thor, Love and Thunder, and Secret Invasion disappoint audience members, the fandom becomes more cracked. A story will always be king. Captain Marvel... One of the MCU's biggest box office earners was female driven. Captain Marvel sucked. You had to watch a lot of people assume that you had to watch Captain Marvel in order for you to know who she was. It's because the fear of missing out. So it's sort of like things that you had you had to do homework, right? And the thing is that during this time, everyone was waiting for what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. Yeah, end game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're right. It's like the reason why Captain Marvel was a success because it had MCU at its peak behind it. So what? No matter what you said, no matter how you marketed it, marketed it, people would would get would get into C- Captain Marvel because yeah, it's like you just need you just needed to say even though it wasn't true that you needed to watch this to see how it connected to Endgame. So it, it it's a must watch. It's a must watch. So it was it was guaranteed to hit that billion, but as proven in the sequel, now that you don't have Endgame anymore, it's a colossal flop. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let me see how much uh, Ant Man, uh, Ant Man and the Wasp, uh, the second movie, right? Quantum Mania is the third movie, right? Yep, yep. Quantum Mania is the third. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Let's see if I can find it really quick. It's like super laggy for me for some reason. Uh, Ant-Man, the Wasp box office. Let's see. Domestic opening is $75 million, which is pretty good. International, worldwide. International is 406. World, worldwide is 622, which is pretty good. It's, that's quantum. Did, sorry, that's quantum mania or the second? No, second movie. Second one. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. And then uh, the thing is that how much does, how much did quantum mania make? Right, you can mm. you can tell the difference from that. Quantum Mania only made four hundred and sixty three, so it made two hundred million dollars less. Yeah, and how much that, did it cost? What's the production budget for Quantum Mania? Production I, budget. I, I, I know it's around two hundred. Budget was two hundred million. Two hundred yeah, million you, dollars. You lost. You lost money. Yeah. So the thing is, it's just you can make a good movie, right? Just based off of what this writer said. Um, Guardians 3. Guardians 3 made like 800 million or something like that. It's because it was good and it was with the characters that they liked. Right? And the thing is that they, it did have strong female characters in there. But people mm-hmm. still enjoyed it. But let's see. Let's finish up this article. Let's see. While the movie itself received mixed reviews, it was taking place at the end of the Infinity Saga. A stretch uh, on connected films that changed Hollywood forever. As Disney redirects uh, the ship to put men in front uh, front and center. Hopefully Disney remembers that great storytelling will often be rewarded, no matter the age, race, gender, de- demographics of the project leading stars. Matt, th- this is a good article. This person, David Thompson, um, from the direct, um, is very um, is very fair with, with yeah. their analysis. Yeah, yeah. like, the, yeah, there are people who are out there who don't like uh, female-led movies. Absolutely. Like, why? I, I, I'm not going to watch that shit. That shit's stupid, right? There are people out there. But then you have movies like Wonder Woman. You have movies like uh, like the even the old Alien movies and stuff like that. Um, uh, the Terminator. And you have any of these, like, female... Like, Barbie. Barbie made a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. One of the highest grossing movies of last year, right? You cannot say... Well, it's not a superhero movie, but still. It's still a female-led movie. 
So, like Disney, who Bob Iger, just just say this was you. <laughs> <laughs> just come out and admit that you said yeah. this. Just step down already. You already have enough money. Who, who gives a shit about what people think? You have you already have enough money. Just let, give Disney to someone who actually can actually read it. Ah. <sighs> Man, but uh, yeah, um, basically calling everyone bigoted. The reason, if if basically whoever this Disney exec is, like I'm pretty sure it's Bob Iger, said the reason why all of these Marvel movie failed is because of bigoted audience members. Now, what happens if the movie succeeds? Is it because of bigoted audience members? No, it's because of good writing. Yeah. Right. And it's it's like you, you're not going to take any accountability. You're never like you said, Greg, you're never going to learn from this because you're always going to be blaming someone else. Oh, the reason why I suck at driving is because I'm Asian. You know, it's like, no, <laughs> the reason why you suck at driving is because you 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 fucking you just suck. You're stupid. You're stupid. Right. Oh, the, like you're are you going to try to better yourself? Are you going to try to become a better driver? Are you going to try to become a better writer, a better director? Um, nope. I'm just going to blame other people. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. right it, it, it's so stupid all right um let's read some comments let's see uh yo uh brian uh it, it, it's dion right is that, is that that's how you, you told me how to say it D, dion D, dion sakura look at me i'm the main character now i can see it i can mm -hmm. i can see them doing it man yo, thank you so much for the two dollars dude thank you thank you let's see um all right, let's go ahead and read the comments. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and read here. Uh, I'm sorry for not having interest in Marvel post Endgame. No way. Uh, Endgame. No way home. It will happen. It will happen again. Uh, yeah. It's um. I don't think. I I don't like the only way that I can see Marvel capturing that flame again is. It's by word of mouth, in my opinion, right? Like, yeah, someone has to see it. Let, 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 for instance, let's say Gary, Nerdrotic, anyone from FNT, anyone from Geeks and Gamers, uh, EFAP, all of them, they go, they go watch this movie, and they said, "Man, this movie's really good." Combined audience, how many people do they have? Maybe three million people. Yeah, that's even for me. That's even conservative, in my opinion. Yeah. So it's 3 million people, people, you know, uh, people who are part of, um, you know, th this group of uh, like-minded thinkers or people who are just people who have common sense online. Um, they're like, go watch, go watch uh, Godzilla minus one. It's really fucking good. Right. Movie costs less than $10 million. Made over a hundred million dollars, which is fucking insane. Right. And you have, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, it's actually pretty good. It's not bad. You know, it's 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 there's not really woke elements in it. There's our parts I didn't like, but overall it's enjoyable. The bad guy is really good. You fucking hate him. He, it's great. Yeah. Eight hundred million dollars. You know, budget was probably like two, two hundred, two hundred fifty million, which is still a lot, but it still made money. Right. So, but if these movies suck, we will call them out. And it's sort of like gray, when you're giving a uh a review on a restaurant, um, do you hear more praises if more praises if it's good or if it's bad? Like if it's the, the, bad, if it's bad, yeah. absolutely. It's yeah, it's more of it's not just limited to that, actually. It's actually more of anything, any product that you put out there with that has the function to have online reviews. Chances are it's gonna be the people complaining, oh, this thing sucks because X reason, Y reason. You hardly get those that say, Oh, it's actually really, really awesome. Try it. It's that's usually goes to word of mouth more than anything. They're not gonna po post a five-star review on online. Unless probably it's like if they want to promote something or if their if their job is online content creation, but yeah, that's the reality of it. It's like it, it people online tend to complain more than they give praise for it, unless it's their career or part of their part time uh, job. Yep, um, Gray. Uh, does Tesla do any advertising? Not that I know. Not that I know. Yeah, it's like. Well, I, if I want to talk about here in the Philippines, it's actually more of the what was that Chinese brand again? BYD, D, 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 
I, I don't know. There's another equivalent Chinese brand that's going, uh, that's popping off here in the Philippines. And people are saying that it, they're actually doing better than Tesla in terms of electronic car sales. But yeah, yeah Tesla hardly does any advertising. I don't see any. Not that I'm so, aware. So all of their car sales, some word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So basically, if these movies are good, if these shows are good, it will be heard from mostly from word of mouth. People don't really trust access media anymore. People who have early access media is like, oh, I just watched this, right? People watch YouTubers, right? And people watch Jeremy Johns. People watch Chris Stuckman. People watch John Campia. People watch all of these places. And the thing is that if you tell them this movie sucks, they're not going to go watch it. You know, you're actually doing them a service. But if you don't say anything, Chris Stuckman, then you are doing your fans and your viewers a disservice. But yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. He got some outrage from that short. <laughs> I saw the comments. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.